KAK Industry stripped upper receiver. How does it compare to an Aero Precision stripped upper receiver? We're gonna put them side by side and take a quick look at them. Let's see how it stacks up. Welcome back to the Little Tox review table right here on my back porch. And it's burning up out here today. It's about 95 degrees. I'm gonna try to keep this video under about five minutes. A little bit off subject from what my normal videos are. I'm gonna go into a little bit of uh, firearms parts and what I'd like to do is a quick review of my initial thoughts on this stripped receiver that I've purchased for a new build I'm going to start. This is a KAK Industries stripped upper receiver um, and I just want to do a review on it because I didn't even know they made upper receivers and I couldn't find a whole lot online about them so I wanted to kind of compare it to another receiver that I have which is probably a lot of people's favorites so we'll get to talking about it real quick and I have my notes over here so we're not out here forever and this is a forged upper receiver and it is forged by anchor harvey i believe is what it is which is the same who forges the, uh, uh, this particular arrow precision upper receiver and in case y'all are wondering we are clear nothing in we are completely clear so don't worry about that so anchor harvey is the same one who forged the arrow precision stripped upper receiver that i use for my uh 556 Aero Precision Pistol Build, my 10.5 inch Aero Precision Pistol Build. So um, I kind of wanted to compare it to that and give you a little bit of what my initial thoughts are just on the stripped upper receiver portion. Both uppers, both of them use your typical uh, T6 775 aluminum. Uh, again, they're forged by Anchor Harvey and they are hard coat anodized. Um, both of them are mil spec. They use the M4 feed ramps, um, machine for a uh, quarter of an inch takedown pins. Um, you know, they're pretty much mil spec. They're both exactly the same, which I did weigh this one also because the Aero Precision upper receiver, they say that it weighs, I didn't weigh it when it will strip. I'm gonna take their word for it on this one. They say it weighs 6.9 after their milling process. Uh, this weighed in at basically seven ounces, 7.02, so almost seven ounces even. Not really any difference, negligible difference right there. Um, it, it does seem like a very nice stripped receiver, but I do think the anodization on the Aero Precision. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on there. Maybe I can get it up here closer. I do think the anodization is a little smoother. Their finish is a little better on the Aero Precision. Um, not a whole lot, uh, nothing that, I guess I could turn it the same way. Not a whole lot, um, but you know, it is something worth noting that I do think that the finish is a little better. Sorry for standing up if you couldn't see that on the Aero Precision, but it's really not bad on this one and i guess the main difference is on the website uh primary arms the kak retails for 80 dollars, whereas the aero precision retails for 64 dollars typically um i got this one because i caught it on sale i think i got it for 34 dollars after shipping i think it came out to a little under 39 from uh, primary arms is where i got this one from so that was a very good deal. Um, the finish is slightly better on the Aero Precision again, I will say, but you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I did have the uh, a barrel for this to give you a little bit on, I'll talk about that a little bit on that here in a second, but this is for a 6.5 Grendel build that I'm finally starting to do that I've wanted to do for a while. The barrel, I did put the barrel on here. I'm not gonna do it again because I was curious how tight of a fit it would be, but um, so this is a Ballistic Advantage 18 inch 6.5 Grendel barrel. And I'm not gonna put it all the way in there, but I wanted to see how tight that it would be. And it goes, it's, I ain't gonna take it in farther than that. Cause last time I had to take like a rubber mallet to it and knock it out. So I'm not gonna take it in farther than that, but it's a very tight fit in there. Um, again, later on, I'm gonna get more of my 6.5 Grendel build. I'm gonna talk more about that. So if you're interested in that, Hit that follow button and subscribe and let me know if that's something that interests you and I might get into another video explaining that whole build um, with that. But, so that's the barrel. Everything does line up good with that. Again, the finish is slightly better on the Aero Precision and maybe if I can get a picture of it close up, um, you're, you can see that it's a little bit better on the Aero Precision. But for 34 bucks, um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I can't complain. The only thing I'm thinking about doing is since I think the finish is a little better and a little smoother on the Aero Precision, I'm thinking about taking this and probably have it Cerakoted to match up with OD Green or Olive Green. I'm not sure what the green this is, but this is a Magpul STR stock and I'm wanting to take a 6.5 Grendel. I'm wanting to make a uh, like a hunting upper. It started for just the upper, but I think I'm going to end up doing the whole rifle. 
But uh, my brother-in-law gave me this, so shout out to my brother-in-law for giving me this. It's basically my whole build's gonna be around it now, this and the barrel. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about getting a hand guard and a strip lower and a strip upper and basically Cerakote it to match my Magpul stock, my, SR, my STR stock. We'll do another video on that later on. I'm not gonna get into all that. It's just too hot out here to talk about it. But So I did just wanna do a quick video. And one thing I wanted to do before I jump off here is I wanted to take off the upper receiver of my pistol because I haven't done this yet. I haven't tested it to see how it lines up. So, to see how it lines up on my low, on a lower. So this will tell us somewhat too about how mil spec they are and if they're in the correct. That went right on. And yeah, there's like almost no play in that. And to be honest with you, once I get it on here, you might be able to see it a little bit now. Basically the Aero Precision has a little smoother finish on it. It's um, glossier, but the finish, it doesn't really, it looks good. I mean, it matches up almost perfect. So I don't know, I may not stair coat it. I'm gonna have to think about that because I thought it was gonna be more noticeable than it is. But if you can see that, I mean, that matches up. I have no clue if you can see this or not, and it's too hot for me to run back and forth. Um, but I mean, that's a pretty good match and it's a nice snug fit. It's not too loose. Um, so I'm very happy with that. So yeah. So that's pretty much what I want to talk to you about. Um, everything is mil spec about it. It fits on the lower very nicely. Everything looks good. It does not have the laser engraved T marks on the top. I don't care about that. Some people do like it. Some people don't. Um, my air precision pistol does have it, but this one doesn't. That's fine. Doesn't matter. I didn't care about it. So yeah, that's the whole video I want to do and just kind of give you a rundown on it. But everything looks mil spec and actually everything lines up pretty good. Not quite as good a finish as Aero Precision, but it's better than some of the other ones I've saw, like some of the cheaper ones. So if you're looking for a decent alternative, I, now I don't know why the KAK, the, I have their flash can on my pistol. I don't know why the KAK retails for 80 and the Aero Precision retails for 64 normally. I would think the Aero Precision with their finish would retail a little bit higher. But considering I got this for $34, maybe they just run it on sale. They have the MSRP set higher than they run them down on sale. But uh, yeah, so I do think it's gonna be a good option. I have a box of parts for this. I have my, uh, basically everything for my upper. Uh, I have my dust cover, I have my forward assist. I have everything to put it together, but I'm not gonna do that until I decide whether I'm gonna have a stair coated or not. Um, and again, this is gonna be for a 6.5 Grindle build. If y'all are interested in that, please comment and say yes, please do some more builds or something, or please do some more uh, information on the 6.5 Grindle and what you plan on doing with that. I might do a walkthrough with it and show you as I go. Um, I might even rattle can them instead of doing a Cerco. I don't know, we'll get that figured out, but so yeah, that's pretty good quality. I like it, it matches up good. So please guys, hit that like button at the bottom, hit that subscribe. Thank you for watching YouTube. I will see you next time.